See y'all later. Take it easy. So guys, that was the recording of the digital launchpad video with Storm Blight just a couple hours ago. I got a time management video out of it. Well, we all did, anyone who is in Digital Launchpad did. And of course, set my recaps to all of the various servers. But guys, don't have a lot of time to film. It is probably like 7.50 a.m. I need to start packing for school. It's Friday today, so um, I'll just leave a couple of messages, a couple things I want to say, and then, and then I'll see if I have anything else to talk about today. Add coal with Stormblight got time management vid. POA for today, 1st of March. Um, very simple video editing, digital launchpad and the real world where I can. Gonna have to cross this out because I haven't been consistent with this. And um, Iman's advice from the his recent video, which was um, five habits, which made me a a millionaire by age 24 I'll just put that in the description or a picture up however I'll do it so that is done tactics bro tactics it's just today I only got about five hours of sleep um, and, um, usually when that happens, I bring, you know, some energy drink for that. For me, that's monster, uh, just to make sure that if I ever do feel sleepy, I have a drink that will energize and wake me up. And also I need to keep it cool. So, cause that monster can is a little bit smaller. Tried something new. It's tactics, bro. So guys, before I have to end this recording and go to school, uh, I just wanted to address a very, very short message. Um, small epiphany that I had during that digital launchpad call with Storm Blight. I realized that the journey is really hard and that if I want to do this, I need to put 100%. That I need to have more urgency and I need to kind of be more strict on myself. Um, and obviously there's plenty of advice that advises against that, but just for my situation and with the time that I have now, I'll elaborate later, but right now, um, I just want to say that the journey is hard. If you want to be an entrepreneur, um, you have to try harder than so many, so, so many people. You have to surpass so many people if you want to achieve the dream that you want. I realized that through this idea, which is called segmentation, you know, and it's the fact that even though realistically what I do, 95% to 99% of people don't do, out of that 1%, maybe 10% of that 1% actually succeed and achieve what they've always dreamed of achieving. And so basically, I segmented it down to the fact that 0.1% of people actually succeed in business. We had 100 people on that call. And the fact that in Digital Launchpad, there are 6,000 people. And listen, people can make all the excuses they want about school or the fact that they, didn't, they don't have time or um, what else. That it's when they sleep, it's early in the morning. I would bullshit all of that because you can just listen to it during school you can just you can just wake up earlier that's what i did some of the calls that i go on with digital launchpad in the discord community literally start at 3 30 a.m in the morning or 4 4 30 a.m in the morning so there is no excuse generally if i was at school that's what i would do i would just put in some hit headphones and listen to it um you know, without recording it, without seeing their face, that's fine with me. I realize that this journey is hard, and if you want to, if you want to do this, you can't. You can't just be fifty percent about it. Iman said this before, but you you genuinely have to sacrifice a lot of things 
if you want to achieve what you want to achieve, which is through, you know, and you want to do that through entrepreneurship, you can't just half-ass this. You can't just make this your plan B. You can have plan Bs, but you can't make this entrepreneurship your plan B. It has to be, you have to put 100% in or, or don't do it at all. And there was a quote that I got from a music video by Jid um, or JID, which was um, kind of what I just said a couple seconds ago, which is put in 100% or don't do it at all. And another one was by Iman, which he said, and, and I and I keep this in my affirmations, I keep this, I, I affirm this and I, you know, I say this in my affirmations or incantations every single day. The fact that out of 100 people, only 10 will make it. And out of those 10, only one will stay in that position. And having that epiphany moment reminded me of all those quotes that I need to try harder. I need to have higher standards. And people may say, oh, Okay, but high standards, you're going to beat yourself up and you're also your biggest hater and you're also your biggest support. But at the same time, I think um, I've come to accept that it's a double edged sword and that I will accept the good and the bad with, you know, having urgency, being sure that I'd be the best of the best, making sure that, you know, that I understand and I'm aware that I'm saying I'm not doing enough. But also having gratitude in moments of prayer that I am doing better than 95% of people. But that if I want to genuinely get from talking about it and doing it and getting meaningful results to achieving everything I've ever wanted in my life, I need to push. I need to push my limits. I need to quite literally break myself. So guys, um, I'll elaborate, uh, I think, after school, if not some other time um but yeah i gotta get to school now it's gonna be late authority to create reward and in general to create a relationship is not to sell but it's to forgive Got some Subway cookies. We got this raspberry cookie and this M&M cookie right there. San Pellegrino, even though there isn't actually any San Pellegrino, I just mixed in some Prime and water. Please don't give me shit about that, by the way. Um, Prime is actually really, really strong. I've come to find out with their recent flavors like Ice Pop. They really like hit you in the throat. So like, I've come to find out if you actually just dilute it with water, or maybe your water already has some lemon or some lime in it and a bit of salt. It honestly tastes like a lighter version of Prime. So don't give me shit about that. And another thing people give me shit about is my scrambled eggs. So I'll just pop up a picture of my scrambled eggs compared to the other people who made their scrambled eggs. I know for a fucking fact, whatever they say about me and whatever they say about my eggs or whatever you say about my eggs, I know hands down my eggs are the best. I, like you could literally look through their photos, you can just taste average fucking eggs. When you look at my eggs, I'm be honest, you know it's it's about to slap. It's about to slap. They're saying like, oh, it looks like cereal or this and that. Right. I know my eggs are the best. I know with the way I cook it and the way it just looks, it is first place at the top. Always going to be there. I've mastered the art of scrambled eggs. Hands down, the best eggs I've tasted. I've tasted plain eggs and I've tasted my eggs right now. And my eggs are the best. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm currently editing up this video, which should already be out anyways. 
dude this video is yeah this video is going to be really really long i'm guessing maybe around i mean looking at the footage that i have here this totals up to one hour and 48 minutes raw so 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 that means that i it would probably be around 30 to 45 minutes to an hour which would probably be my longest video to date um yet again guys i'm sorry that it is so long i'm sorry that i didn't upload it on time and i'm sorry that i did not meet my promises um obviously it wouldn't have already came out but uh yeah guys I, I'm, I'm just i'm sorry there's a lot of inconveniences i'm having to juggle work at the moment i know i have something due by monday and i haven't really done anything for that just because i wanted to focus on this um but obviously guys with how long this is uh with how long this video is and just honestly the amount of strain that exporting already puts on my laptop i probably won't be able to put out another video like that again just because it's probably gonna be gig like over five gigabytes for sure um and listen it's just not it's not at the moment it's just genuinely not my uh it shouldn't be my focus and it's not my strongest field so yeah probably no more reviews like that for a while probably not until months months later but yeah this is kind of like a uh one-off kind of thing every once in a while every few months so So guys, I'm just going to have to end it off here because I don't think I have really much to add. Uh, I'm still editing up the video. I'm on like the fifth chapter or something at the moment. Um, you would know since the video came out that I did that video in chapters just to kind of make it a bit more digestible. Um, especially when there was, you know, the time was so split. For me, it took like 10 hours to record that uh, from 6 p.m. to really just finish up the entire recording so guys i think just to end it off um while i was working i was figuring out um what my volume level should be and i just went ahead and went back to one of my old videos and scrolling through i realized there was something i wanted to address with the shorts video that i made so in that video i said that i would never make shorts um because uh, shorts to me is detrimental to my audience it's detrimental to the quality of the community that i would have here in this channel but then i took up a couple learning points and heard some things listened to the, some things over time and i guess i kind of realized something and i'll go in depth in another video but i think just right now to end off the video um i just wanted to say guys that when i whenever i say something on this channel i mean it in the sense as in you know, if I put put it on this channel, I am accountable to what I say. And that's the type of mentality I should hold with, you know, saying things on my channel and not, you know, and actually meeting my word. Basically, I guess two points that I could think of at the moment is just that there is a lot of distracting content out there. If I can, in a way, add to the self-improvement space and ensure that, I technically promote this space to be bigger and make sure that more people are hopping on to online entrepreneurship when it makes sense. Self-improvement, when it makes sense. The fact that um, my idea is that society is genuinely fucked and we're going towards a downward spiral. And you see that with people's social well-being, people's mental health. They think they have certain mental 
mental issues with them, um, the the consequences of bad habits nowadays. And I think if I can honestly add and you know change the world a little bit just by you know putting out shorts that I believe that I believe have my proper say in it and you know actually provide meaning for the viewer um, to join me on my journey to listen to what I have to say and do what I say is something that makes shorts and short form video you know maybe a bit more applicable maybe a bit more sensible um, and another point is the fact that I thought that um, short form content you know can always be is always you know because it's so short it can be easily misconstrued and you know the context kind of goes out the window and it and I still kind of believe it does but I realized that you can kind of control that and I realized that when listening to um, Iman on a podcast, I think it was the Nonchalant podcast, and Iman made it clear that you can actually control the output or, well, the input of short form content going out to uh, a cold audience or, you know, going out to people who just seen you for the first time, and you can actually control that context. And, um, you know, you can do that by doing a team. And, of course, guys, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what content you post, you could literally say dogs are the best. You could say dogs are cool. And someone will disagree with you. Like, people are always going to, someone is always going to disagree with you no matter what you say. So I realized that, you know, I can try my best to uh, control the output of short form content going to a cold audience or going to an audience that um, that knows me or you know going out to you know, a fresh audience that's seeing my face for the first time and I realized that I can't control that by having a strong team by having by having basically video editors and you know people who work with you to cut up your content professionally and it's controlled and it's and you know nothing's being misconstrued everything's being communicated and your short form content is actually you know it, it's it's moderated in a way and of course another thing to think about is the fact that um you know something with andrew andrew tate um and how you know he kind of came to blow up because of short form content putting out his word and just having multiple accounts redistribute his thoughts you know smaller more digestible clips of his videos and that's what really led him to blow up but the the problem and the mistake that you could have taken out from that was that he didn't moderate it and in a way his fame now is kind of his blessing and his curse because you either have a really strong side of people who don't like him or you have a strong side of people who do love him and i just realized you can really you can really you know moderate and control this one side um of the people who hate you because they listened to something that was taken out of context that wasn't necessarily what you actually meant and that's why they don't like you that's and that that can be really hard to unwind and i realized um from iman that he actually had set up accounts with his employees i've noticed that that most of the points made in the short form content that is distributed from his long form content is actually pretty fairly congruent with his long form content and that's because he moderated it he has a team he has people who actually check and moderate what is being sent out well in andrew's case there was no moderation it was just whoever wanted to distribute his content or plug a affiliate link they would do it by any means necessary. They would put fucking Subway Surfers gameplay at the bottom. Minecraft parkour at the bottom. You genuinely just don't see that with Iman's content. And, you know, what else? Mr. Beast captions. And these, like, you know, it's such a such a strong variance in, like, content. Uh, content style. You don't see that with Iman's. Iman's is, well, it's his own style. The cinematic cuts. Uh burns the burn transitions the grain the you know whatever whatever style there is from the long form content it's literally been translated into short form content and it's been able to be you know distributed fairly well and i realized that 
hey, if I want to put out short form content, for me, I would there, therefore, and, and I'm talking, you know, years, years in the future, if I ever want to do this. Right now, I have no interest in doing short form content. But if I were to do it in the future, what I would do is have a team that moderates and uh, controls the output. I'd make sure that these accounts are the ones who get the most reach and dominate my market, you know, for my personal brand and not someone else with um, other strange tactics and, you know, strange tactics and, you know, cuts my clips out of context. I wouldn't like that at all. I would rather have my team and their accounts dominate the, the short form market of my personal brand yet again it would be moderated it would be redistributed and it's just it's just really about filtering through the bad content and making sure that you know you're not being taken out of context and you know the first impression of 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 you when people see you is actually aligned and congruent with who you are you know your brand um what you actually have to um offer and what you genuinely wanted to communicate through that video no matter what that whether it's long form or short form well obviously short form it would be understood it wouldn't be out of context and if, yet again it goes back there are going to be people who would disagree there are going to be people who interpret it in a way that you didn't really actually want it to be interpreted but by having a team that solves at least 80% of the problem. That's how I see it. So I'll do I'll do a more in-depth video um, in the future regarding that video because I yet again I genuinely care about what I say on this channel and I want to make it clear of what my intentions are and just to really just share you guys everything that's on my mind, my plans, um, what I'm doing. Like that's a, that's a whole point of my channel. So just a little change of heart. I literally, you know, I didn't have to, I really don't have to record this if I didn't want to. I could have just left it there and then, you know, years in the future done short form. But guys, I felt like you are my audience. You are my community in a way. You guys are kind of, you know, the people that I could really only relate to and talk to about these things. So I felt, you know, why not share with you guys? I want to be honest. I want to be authentic and I want to be someone who actually represents what they say so yeah guys this clip is long but um yeah this will probably bump up my video to like a, a 20 minute video but guys are gonna end it off here very boring day just video editing the entire day not even learning um yeah i've just been that's kind of been falling through uh but yeah after this digital launchpad video i don't really have any like big planned videos for the next hopefully five videos they'll all just be yet again day day in the life vlogs me documenting my progress as normal um and yeah so guys let me know down below of any thoughts any criticisms you have about what i just said uh any feedback any criticism you know i look at it all like i'm really not a big channel so i have the time to just Check the channel once in a while, see if anyone subscribed, commented, how my views are going. So, yeah, guys, I'm only, I only have 26 subscribers. So, like, listen, um, you know, checking my channel does not take my entire day. Unlike editing up this next video or the digital launchpad video that you guys have already seen. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber already, come be a supporter of my channel. Join me on this journey. And, uh... Yeah, so guys, stay safe, take care, and I will see you in the next video.